Yeah, it is damp. It's wet in some spots. We've got a few scattered showers in the area. Rain chances will really start to climb and coverage will increase uh, once we get to really after about 11 or 12 o'clock lunchtime today. And that's when we'll start to see uh, more coverage of showers and thunderstorms. And you can see impact weather on the planner. Then high temperatures are expected to be almost to 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. So obviously the clouds and the rain helping to uh, to keep the heat down. Some fog issues especially here into Shelby County. You can see visibility is down quite a bit there. 72 in Alabaster, 70 in Coleman. Most of us are starting off in the low 70s. We do have a little bit of rain and some thunder and lightning to up here across North Alabama. Most areas are rain free. Most areas are very wet and muggy uh, from the, uh, the recent rains. But as far as actual ongoing rain at the moment from West Point to Coleman, uh, they're kind of approaching I-65 and those showers really have been moving very little Little, so there could be some issues up across that part of, uh, of north central Alabama, maybe some ponding of water on area roads and and we're still expecting again today torrential downpours, very tropical air mass in play. So these are going to be very efficient rain producers again, and you can see the coverage, how it really increases once we get into the afternoon and into the evening hours and especially those hard hit areas yesterday. Um, obviously the threat for flash flooding will uh, will be highest there. Those areas that picked up three to six inches just because the ground is already so saturated, but we could see some localized flash flooding in other areas as well. So heavy rain, obviously storm impacts that will be high today. Medium threat for some flash flooding and the possibility that we could have a, uh, a few smaller trees come down just because the uh, the ground is so wet. Rain chances will stay high again on Wednesday and then we'll start to drop them a little bit for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Temperatures will respond to that too with a little more sunshine and not as much rain. We should see highs climbing into the upper 80s. Back to you. All right, thanks Steph. 546 and happening now, the Alabama Department of Public